a local family needs your help tonight to save a husband, son, and brother. Rob Fernandez is in the hospital with liver failure. He had a liver transplant a few years ago, and now his body is rejecting it. His family wants to step in as donors, but hospital officials at UCSD say he's too high of a risk, and they won't move forward with another transplant, so the family reached out to us. News 8's Kirsten Holmes spoke with them today and joins us with this Your Stories report. Kirsten? Imagine being told there's nothing that doctors can do and that you or your loved one is just simply going to die. That's exactly what's happening to the Fernandez family from the South Bay, but they say that they are fighting back and willing to go overseas for the chance to save Rob Fernandez's life. At this point, we are not going to accept death, you know, um, and uh, we just we're we're trying everything we can and we're we're going overseas, you know, that's what we're going to have to do. Michelle Fernandez says at this point, they're desperate for help to save Rob, her husband's life. Jonathan, Rob's younger brother, says he cannot give up. I love my brother. He's my hero, and I refuse to accept this, this decision by the UCSD. And I refuse, and I'm going to keep fighting until I can't anymore. Rob's original liver transplant is failing. He's been in the hospital for weeks fighting for his life, but doctors say it's a losing battle and Rob is dying. So at least like I know, okay, he absolutely needs a liver transplant now, you know, so, but it was really hard for Rob to hear that. He just started crying, you know, just breaking down. It's it's been, he's like, I don't want to die. You know, he's like, it's not my time yet. And that's why they want to take the chance that a hospital overseas will help perform the transplant so that Jonathan or anyone in the Fernandez family can donate a piece of their liver to save Rob's life. Our goal is $60,000. That's how much the hospital in Turkey is going to cost. We're still getting quotes from other places too. Like Mexico was $110,000. The one in Turkey is JCI accredited, which is an international accreditation. So we really want to make sure that we go to, you know, a good hospital, an accredited hospital overseas. Maria Fernandez, Rob's mom, sends her plea in Spanish. <laughs> While Jonathan and Michelle and the entire Fernandez family continues to fight. She was about to buy a house. She was about to have children. I feel like powerless. I feel like, like it's my fault almost like, I feel like, 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 like I failed him almost in a sense, like, because he's my hero to me. Growing up, he's a big brother. He's like, he was a second dad to me. So seeing him in that situation is like seeing almost like a father day. Okay, so the Fernandez family still needs to see who in the family is a match to donate a piece of their liver first. Then they need a hospital or surgeon to agree to do the procedure right now. Federal transplant rules in America don't allow Rob to get back on the liver transplant waiting list. So the family is raising money to get the surgery done overseas in an attempt to save Rob's life. If you want to help, go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on this story. There's a link to their GoFundMe. Mm, what a moving situation going on there. And you, you know that if it was your family, yep. you remember, you would mm -hmm. do anything you could to help them out. Yeah, I, I don't speak Spanish, but listening to his mom, I listened to her in Spanish. And even though there was a language barrier, I felt every single word, every single mm -hmm. emotion. This transcends language. This family needs our help.